my first experience in Africa was a Bedouin festival that I visited in the town of El Oued in northern Algeria in 1966. The village was thronged with Fulani and Tuareg people from south of the Sahara, and they seemed to me to be so interesting that I decided then that I wanted to go where they had come from. In 1970, I joined the Peace Corps with my wife Nora, and we spent two wonderful years in Burkina Faso. Among the many peoples we visited were the Tuareg and Fulani in the northern towns of Gorom Gorom, Markoy, and Dori. The festival that you're about to see resembles in many ways the Bedouin festival that I attended 50 years ago in Algeria. The Tuareg are very closely related to the Berber people, or Amazigh, who live in northwest Africa, especially in Morocco. They are both remnants of cultures that have thrived in North Africa for millennia. There is no evidence that they moved into North Africa from anywhere else. The Tuareg are herders of camels especially, but also of cattle and horses. They are fiercely independent, and in the latter half of the 19th century caused enormous difficulty for the French colonial forces in Morocco and Algeria. They are, of course, unusual because the men wear veils over their mouths to prevent the loss of body moisture in the dry climate of the Sahara. The women do not wear veils, and they tend to be well-educated, readily able to read and write in French or in their own language, Tomashek. At the risk of making comments that might be mistaken for racist, it is quite clear that most Tuareg are quite light-skinned with features that resemble those of their Amazigh relatives. In contrast, the Fulani people t tend to be somewhat darker in complexion, although their facial features are finer and more delicate than their farmers' neighbors to the south. Please do not accuse me of racism. The Tuareg and the Fulani recognize these differences, as do all of the thousands of visitors to West Africa over the past several centuries. There is constant and frequent intermarriage between these two peoples, and you si f so you find every shade of complexion in between. These differences are facts of life in the Sahara. In contrast, the Fulani are West African people unrelated to the Tuareg. However, the two people share a great deal in common because they are both herders at the edges of the Sahara. They trade frequently, and often Fulani herders are hired to tend to Tuareg herds. Their language is a West African language called Fofulde or Pular, and they occupy vast areas of the Sahel, the broad strip of open savanna grassland between the Sahara and the forest that extends from Dakar to Lake Chad. Because they are herders, they live north of the areas infested by tsetse flies, which spread the disease the disease trypanosomiasis, deadly to domesticated animals. Both the Tuareg and the Fulani people like to socialize, and they often gather in large groups to celebrate important moments in the cycle of the year. They gather throughout the year at various communities on both the north and south edges of the Sahara Desert. They hold feasts at which they consume large quantities of millet mixed with cow's milk, and sometimes, as you can see in the video, protein from dried fish. The material culture of both the Tuareg people and the Fulani people is very rich. They both wear spectacular costumes that include turbans and often veils across the lower part of the face. Women wear colorful costumes that are hand-embroidered and beautiful silver jewelry that is made by Tuareg smiths in such cities as Agadez. The Fulani people often hold large dance competitions in which young men show off their beauty, grace, and talent to win the favors of beautiful young women. Both groups of people have been much oppressed by centralized governments in Algeria, Libya, Niger, Mali, and Burkina Faso. The result has been that some have organized to carry out jihad against the centralized authorities. This has caused enormous disruption all across the Sahara and the Sahel. Many of them have joined al-Qaeda in the Islamic Maghreb, which has become the target of French and American military force, with bloody results for both sides.
This is Jacob Bamago. He has been one of my videographers for the past 20 years. He is a Mosi man from northern Burkina Faso, from the village of Dablo. Dablo is so close to Fulani country that many of the people in Dablo speak Fulfulde and are very close to their Fulani neighbors. He has attended this festival at the invitation of one of his friends and has filmed the proceedings for me. Ah, 
Mutanan da suka tawo da su sun tawo daga Nigeria. Daga Burkina Faso. Daga Burkina Faso. Daga kasar Togo. Daga kasar Togo. Akwai wasu da suka tawo daga irin Zander.